Hello, guys. Today we are going to introduce auto provisioning. Auto provisioning is a time saving feature that helps you to manage and deploy devices on P series PBX system. The process of configuring devices and managing firmware update is simplified to one click provisioning, which makes deployment and management of devices fast and convenient. P series PBX offers the auto provisioning with plug and play deployment. Please upgrade your PBX to the latest version. In this video, we are going to tell you every details about this feature. First, we will introduce the setup of the phone side. Here we take a Yearling IP phone as an example. We need to turn on PMP mode, but we don't need to turn off DHCP mode because PMP mode has a higher priority. Next, we move to the PBX interface. First, we need to log in to the PBX, go to Auto Provisioning, click Phones. The phone list displays all the discovered devices with their related information, including model, MAC address, IP address, and we can also check the phone registration status here. Here is a little tip for you. Only the supported devices can be discovered and displayed on the phone provisioning list. So restart the phones if they are not discovered and displayed on this. Select the phones you want to provision. To provision an individual phone, please click Edit beside the phone. To provision multiple phones, select the checkboxes of the phones and click Edit. But you need to pay attention that the selected phones must be of the same model if we are going to provision multiple phones in bulk. Then, in the Options section, we can select a template from the template drop-down list. In the Assign Extension section, we can assign an extension for each phone. And don't forget to click on Save, then the auto-provisioning will be finished. Now the only thing left for us is to check the status to see if it is registered. After we finish all these steps, reboot the phone, when IP phone finish reboot process, the flow shows as the following figure. The phone sends a subscribe request packet to this multicast address, and the request line contains the phone's MAC address. Then, the PBX receives this request packet from the multicast address and sends an OK back to the phone. Next, PBX sends a notify packet with HTTP address which is the address of the server that stores the configuration file needed by the phone's auto-provision. The phone receives the packet and returns an OK to indicate that it has received the notify packet. At last, there will be a series of HTTP download requests. The main process is to get the MAC address of a CFG file. We can also review the entire process by looking at the PBX click logs. In this way, we can open the SSH settings of PBX to obtain the account and password. Then use a software like XShell to assess the backend of our PBX. Enter the following command to view PMP server related logs. Or you can enter TCP dump host with your IP address to view the details of the packets sent and received by the phone. With auto-provisioning, we can actually get to the custom template to create a new one or modify the source default template. On this page, according to your needs, you can change some certain options such as phone language, call waiting, and DTMF display, you can also add some new distinctive ringtone and codec. The most important thing is you can customize and add the phone's configuration parameters below to bring more features to the phone. For example, here I'm gonna to add some features about DTMF and ringtones to my custom template. Please check on the phone manual and contact your phone provider to confirm how to create a template for the specific model. Once we finish, we should click on Save, and a new template will be found in the Customize Template list with P-Theories PBX. 
Here are some frequent asked questions. Question number one: PBX can't scan phones after power on. The phone list is empty. The PBX scans the phones by plug and play, and identifies the phones by their subscribed packets. The phone only sends packets when it starts up. That means the phone will only be scanned by the PBX if it is powered on after the PBX. In this situation, you can reboot the phone and make sure that your phone and the LAN part of your PBX are on the same network segment, so that there is one and only one configuration file for the phone to download. If it still doesn't work, please reset the phone. Question number two cannot receive real-time update after editing contact. If we modify the extension informations, change PBX feature code and other settings, this will immediately generate the corresponding auto provision profile in the background. But this will not trigger auto provision. You have to go to the phone list and click reprovision to update it to the phone. The auto process for P series and S series is roughly the same, but there is one difference to note: S series uses TFTP to get the configuration file, and P series uses HTTP to get the file. And the configuration file is stored in a folder with a randomly generated name. The latter is much safer. All right, guys, this is what we have in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more detail about troubleshooting. Check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration. Please visit our document center. I'll see you guys in the next one.